happy with their form at the moment? Yeah, I think so. You know, they um, they got quite a big big hiding from province here, and uh, they'd like to set their record straight tonight. Right now, we put you on the spot. Your prediction for tonight, uh, Bladesy? I think um, I think the Free State might just have one over their own team tonight. So there we have it. Jacob van der Westhuizen says Free State may just have it over Griquas. Let's go to our commentators. And welcome to Kimberley, where we see the Cheetahs play the Griquas in a massive match in the central part of South Africa. The log as it stands, the Blue Bulls leading with two victories out of two with a massive 10 points. And believe it or not, with a blistering pace back in the commentary box is Mr. Hugh Bladen. Well, thanks, AJ, and we look forward to a, a good game here. Not a bad crowd has gathered on this warm Friday evening here in Kimberley. And so let's have a look at the team's cheaters with the little couple of changes. Clayton Bournemouth moves to full back with Sergio Peterson coming in on the right wing. Interesting selection. He's still in under 21s. Karat Ulufia also comes in in place of Buen Prinsloor, who has done himself an injury. And so uh, we they want to see Henko Fenter, Neil Jordan last week against the Western Province. They had a couple of yellow cards, which Franco Smith was not at all happy about. And so uh, you see that back line, Fred Zeilinger, good signing from the Sharks. Raymond Rule played well last week. Rainer Benjamin and Francois Fenter, very experienced in the center position as well. Now, changes are plenty in this Griquois side with Rian Fillion moving to full back and uh, Francois Brummer taking over from him at fly half. Then Steph Roberts comes in, a loose head prop. Johan Vessels on the flank. Jakun Nepkin into the lock. Hilton Roberts, the Springbok, played in two tests as a reserve against England and New Zealand back in 2006 and 7. And they are... Uh, they're... Um, Captain by Tian Mayer. RJ Liebenbach, who's uh, reverted to the bench. Also, Hugo Kloppers, Dani Mini, also uh, reverting to the bench. And so it will be Francois Ace to lead his seed, side out onto the field. Well over 100 first class games by Francois Ace. And so the Cheetahs will be looking for their first win of the season. Field looking very yellow, but not, not bad conditions. Sometimes here in Kimberley you get some sort of gravelly patches, but it's uh, this stage of the season not bad at all. H.J. Fenter has been down on the field and it isn't in bad condition. Absolutely not. I've uh, spoken to some of the locals and they said they haven't had a lot of frost this year and that's the reason why the pitch kept up the way it, it has. It's, it's really not hard. It's quite a nice soft feel to it. Something that's not really happening here in Kimberley or in the past. So it's Tian Mayer who brings out the Greek quiz players with Steph Roberts right behind him. Steph Roberts, his first game this season. Tian Mayer, who uh, did his schooling in Westville. There's Hilton Lobbitz, number four. Or Jonathan Ard Ardendorf, in fact, the uh, number four lock, Hilton Lobbitz. Just have a look at the, the, the numbers on the flanks jerseys very quickly because we've been given Colton conflicting things. There's Hilton Lobbitz. Good to see him back in provincial rugby. And Hilton Lovitz with the two tests, as I said, to his name. As a reserve against England and New Zealand. So uh, that's another one, uh, Jonathan Ardendorf, who's coming to the reckoning. So it will be Fred Zalinger to begin the game. Very slight, slight breeze in the favour of the Free State Cheaters at the moment. Pro La Quetta is the 
referee, Le Sacho, known as Pro, and Rinia from Muren, and uh, Peter Janssen from Muren, and Johan Grief is our TMO tonight. And so Roy Marx gives the signal for the game to begin. Round number three in the Absa Curry Cup. Always builds up to a tremendous crescendo around about the end of October. Let's enjoy it, James. Well, Peterson is giving chase on this kick ahead, but it's well fielded by Dukisa, and then that, that said this game would be fiercely contested, and you can bet it will be Brummer with his first Curry Cup touch of the season. Oh, and that was well judged there by the referee's assistant. Zeilinger just getting it out, out to left to Francois Fenta. And that's a good ball, moving the ball a little bit while a tremendous gang tackling there by uh, the uh, Griquas players. Now a chance on the inside of the number eight, Neil Yudan, who showed up well last week against the Western Province, Zeilinga. Worked out there by Dutoy, the good hands by the hooker. And then, uh, well, again, the tackling is, is hard, and here goes a Yudan again. Uh, Peterson, but he's well into touch. Rainer Benjamin just uh, having a little uh, push and shove with Francois Brummer there. What happened? <laughs> There's no love lost between these two teams. From the kickoff, absolutely physical as the two wings crash into each other. And then the kick from there, oh my, that, that could is have out. been out. That is out. Well, he took the quick throw anyway, so not too much effect on the play. Good take by Nepchen. But the maul is strong by Cheetahs. And uh, it is uh, Caleb Wursthausen who's penalised. You can see yeah, enough, yeah. tension yeah, in this situation. Luke Fontaine and Kimberly, it's so close and there's so much rugby passion here. It's bound to happen in a game like this. Uh, a bit of push and shove. Let's hope that that's over. Brahma. Good touch finder by the new, one might say, the season fly half. Entry from the side, correct call by Pro. And as you see, the boys are always keen to have a little handbag. Mayer with the long ball beautifully picked up by Van der Spey. Again, strong work by Luan de Brand and Detoy have really climbed into the situation. Kriev, we see Karl Kriev with room to move, not that time, turnover. The referee's whistle went as it appeared, he just indicated there that there was a knock on by the cheaters. Cheaters in their familiar orange. Peacock blue for Griquas. Well, it's really been physical, both in the breakdown as well as the tackles. Both teams, Griquas and Cheetahs, really throwing their bodies again at, at the opposition. Good to see. Okay, guys, it's about stability. I'm not going to move on. First come of the match. And let's have a look. See whether there's, there's any weight advantage, nothing in it. And look at that, 1k in it in the, in the tight five, the front rows, oh, exactly the same. So it's all down to technique. Fine. Maybe a little bit of chios as well. Sick. Perfect conditions for scrum. First, you it's so firm, so solid. So there shouldn't be any reason the guys collapse tonight. If they collapse, it definitely will be penalizable. 
Well, Steph Roberts on the number one on the Griquist side there, a seasoned campaigner. We've got long, young uh, Luan de Brain and Dutoy in the front row just uh, two years ago when the South African under 20 side. Fine. Set. Maya. Not 10 meters by the cheaters. Brutal, brutal. So Grick was his scrum half. Tion Mayer, the captain, has asked for a scrum from the free kick. Yeah, well, I think that, sorry, AJ, could be a judge that he was trying to grab it. Absolutely. I think the ref will look at it palm downwards action. And if, in that case, I don't think it was. Clearly indicating that Caleb Wurstazen was scrumming inwards, in his opinion. The referees are always going to look for spine in line. They want the spines to look straight at the opposition's poles. And as you can see, it's not in straight. He's angling with his spine almost to the corner post. And uh, spot on, Mr. Referee. And to Bernie Dukisa, I was looking around for Francois Brummer. But we saw Dukisa a couple of games ago taking the place kicks. The injury, of course, to uh, Jose Prince. Well, it's a good connection, and the home side move ahead. Griev. Peterson just uh, standing up better that time. Sturdily built Sergio Peterson. Brummer has to move quickly. Coming through very quickly there was Henko Fenter. He saw himself red carded last week against Western Province. So super rugby experience for him. They're not listening. Jacques Dutoy. Well played there by Koster. Peterson, Kriev made the tackle, Fenta away for uh, Wersthausen, Fenta again, close marking and vigorous tackling by the home players, Fenta, Zeilingard, oh, just found a little bit of space and got it away to Fenta, lovely play by, by uh, Jordan and then they, well, they had an opportunity to win the game against Western Province in the dying moments of the game. There definitely a, a, a promising movement comes to naught. Clayton Blomack is in picture. Franco Smith will be disappointed. Absolutely, Franco Smith will be livid. Blomack is not managing to gather that ball, but that was a fantastic opportunity. Some great work by the forwards in midfield. And uh, unfortunately, that pass just doesn't go to hand because that was five points in the corner. Rory Duncan. Good to see Rory Duncan there. Uh, just in the background is Harold Fester, who was for many years the president of Free State Rugby. 
Well, the penalties came either way at scrum time. Fred Zeilinger will kick for goal. Uh, tough one, tough one. From the angle that I was viewing it, kind of looked that the brain was losing his footing more than anything else. Pulled that quite badly. Just looked like he didn't quite have the rhythm there. Fred Zeidinger. Second from left is Sias Ibison. He's just completed his three year stint at the West Western Force. And now Rion Fillion with that booming drop kicking ability. Well, it's landed. Oh. Inside the 22 now, Blomakis. Good tackle by uh, Tukisa. Forward goes Koster. There was certainly too much interference there by the Greek was players at ruck time. Breakdown is fiercely, fiercely contested at this moment. And that kick that we witnessed before, that was a massive kick. And it's, the air is so thin, it's night time, there's no wind. So they should use all those kicks to the fullest. So in open play, you can see that cheaters have not kicked from hand. But there was AJ Fent who was telling you that those rucks have been fiercely contested. Now it's at Dutoy with the throw. Finds Fenta, one of the three Fentas in this Cheetahs team. Scrum half, center and flank. All right, let's get the guys going. Side. Yeah, big mistake by Steph Roberts. They obviously know that the Cheetahs fancy their drive and uh, that's exactly what they did. They set up a drive and he's totally from from the side, straight to the back. But uh, let's see, I'm sure that the free state cheetahs are going to set for a nice long drive. Ace. When they've moved the point of impact, can they keep the momentum? And Sulufia, who got the ball back, Zeilinga. Oh, and... Francois Fenter just uh, couldn't hold on to that. It may well have been a forward pass Johan, from Zeilinga. Can, can you please assist me there? If um, there was a definite knock on, or did the ball go backwards? Otherwise, I'm going to award the try. Okay, I'll have a look. Thanks. Well, interesting call by the referee. Francois Fenter just saying uh, sorry. Oh, that's knocked on. Yeah, that's knocked on. Zeilinger looking quite exciting tonight so far. The pass you, I think, was okay, but I think the knock on. Yeah, I would give That's it. That's gone forward. 
Pro have a decision? Yes, sir. The ball was knocked on. Okay, so no, no try. try. From green. Okay, thanks. No try, knock on. Good to see Zalanga enjoying his rugby in the central part of Africa. Was certainly a game for the second break there. And taking on the opposition, good to see from the fly half. Now you can expect an attempt at a big scrum by the cheaters. Remember, Grippa's first requirement is to hook the ball, keep the scrum steady and hook the ball. Crouch. That uh, responsibility to AJ Luru. Playing his Five. 21st Six. game tonight, so not Set. inexperienced. <laughs> oh, that's a good scrum by Grick. Was they've kept that very steady, and you saw Cheetahs trying to uh, put the pressure on. Van der Spey, beautifully taken by Blomakis. But uh, Fulyun up to the task and the tackle. Peterson. Costa Fenter Zeidinga Rule first touch of the night for him. He's got wonderful pace, Raymond Rule. Drickwood's defense is solid. De Bruyne Fenter Zeidinga has uh, recovered well. Fenta, nice little half gap, but couldn't get it away. Costa doing the hard draft and uh, takes it a couple of meters. Fenta, Zeilinger, Rule, operating in the center. And now Pearson, wonderful pass, and again. And it is Rainer Benjamin who gets in for the try Prada Quinta wants to have a look Let me just check uh, pass from 14 that could if be try number 30 in Absa Curry Cup rugby that's correct for Rainer Benjamin if that's the pass it looks quite good Well, from the side view, Peterson was behind his man. I don't think there's any evidence that that's forward, but Johan Gref makes the final decision. Well, I have a decision. Yes, Johan. The ball was thrown backwards. So a try stands. If we may want to try. Okay, that's what I saw. Thank you very much. So a very, very well worked try by the two wingers, finished by the centre. Well, again. A move started by Fred Zielinger. Hey, he's been unbelievable so far tonight. And Rainer Benjamin will be quite happy because of the small mistake he made last week against Western Province. But this backhand pass was just phenomenal. And the pace that came through there. And Benjamin always in the right spot to finish it off. Free State Cheetahs getting their players on the front foot again from that kickoff, but again it's aggressive defense by Grigwood Zeilinger. First time Stop. kicking out of hand, and that is on the full. Well read by Francois Brummer. The atmosphere a bit more rarefied than Fred Zeilinger's used to in Durban. Caleb, tomorrow's game, Sharks against the Golden Lions, kick off at 5 past 5 tomorrow afternoon. Stay there, two. Oh, quickly down by Nepkin, very nicely there too. Around quickly came uh, Ulufi, replacing Buen Prince Lua, Khriaf. Oh, he's a strong attacker with ball in hand. Brahma, oh, now in front of Spey. Rick was really haven't got the ball down their backs as yet. Maya.
strong little dart there by Lovitz. The expensive pass by uh, Brahma away for Kriya. Knocked it forward though. Four. High tackle on Karl Khrief. Well, both teams are willing to spread the ball and use the, the, the width of the field. But both teams are also very willing to tackle. It's been very physical out there. Great run from Karl Khrief, but that's the high tackle right there from Koster. Leroux with the throw. Nepchen has done all the Why catching at the line out so far for Griquiz. They're on an advantage here, are Griquiz. No momentum at the mall situation. Okay. It's enough now. You come in through on the side, you're not on side. So you see Vessels there in the number seven jersey, Johan Vessels. Leroux with the throw, beaten for the jump there by Ace. Stop! And a very good clearance by Zeilinger. Superb touch finder. Very good steal from Francho Ace. You could see him there in the front. He's ready, he was rearing. And his timing was just on. Great lift from his two supporters as well. And a wide awake play there by Sergio Peterson as well. Open up. So Leroux tries again. And Griff, uh, it was at that uh, front of the line up. Now, oh, big tackle on Fillion by uh, Rule, Raymond Rule, who also showed up well last week, particularly fielding the ball and defending Mayer. <laughs> Worked up there by Ngobo. Had, hasn't had a touch on the ball. Now he gets two in a couple of seconds. Brahma, van der Spey. Steph Roberts has to protect that ball. Maya, Nepchen, Brahma. Stop your green. Had a very little option there, really, Francois Brahma. Blomme keys. Well, he's found touch about uh, seven meters inside the free state cheetahs half. Would have wanted more gain on that, I would think. Tomorrow at 10 past seven, the Blue Bulls against Western Province. Remember those epic Curry Cup finals over the years. Nepchen again, Kriev. Good and low there went Dutoy, the hooker. Maya, Brahma, Van der Spey. Oh, well played by Nell, then Fillion. Roberts. And the players go thundering into touch. Rian Phil, you know old stalwart. Been playing a lot of rugby and Greek quests. But again, fantastic hands. Using the ball, using the width. Might have been, might have been in. Well tidied up by Detroit. 
up. Boot away from Fenter. To Kisa for the Filyun. Stays in field. Blomakis, Rule. Raymond Rule really looking for work tonight. Good to see. Use it! Fenter. Forwards are taking it forward again. Produce it quickly for the scrum half. Work here for Karol Khrif. Filyun. Now let's see if he torpedoes it. Oh, no, he oh, does. does. Now it flies oh, and flies. Well, rule takes well. Good take two by Blomakis. Runs it back very quickly to the halfway line. He loses the rule. Looks on the inside. Just ran himself into a slight gap there, did Raymond Rule. Vessels across. And I think it was LaRue Sorry. also, the hooker, yes. who got across to make a good stop. No, it was Vessels who was the main tackler there. Yellow band and all. What's, what's done really well here by Blomick is he, he sees the space and he accelerates into that, pulls two defenders, and that really creates the gap on the outside. Fantastic play. Good attacking position. We've done the first requirement well by, by, by Francois Ace. And they'll okay. have to go again, you playing the man in the, in the air. Now, big point now is do Seven. the cheaters kick for goal or kick for touch? Because the, they haven't really gotten that drive right yet. They've been suffering or struggling with two of them now. Let's hope this is the one they can handle. There's, it looks like there's a bit of a problem between the catcher now and the number seven, uh, or number six. And this, they're keeping up straight. He can't get down. It's happened with the other one this side as well. If they can sort that out, they'll, they'll score a try here. Fenta. Good counter shot by Brickwiz. Well, now they're on the move here, yeah, the Cheetahs. They're on the move. Ulufia has it. Comes for Fenta. Rule. Good layback by the winger. Under a, a strong tackling by Grickwiz. Get back, get back. Nine green, get back. Fenta. Zeidinger. Uh, Benjamin. Nice little dummy. Oh, and First one. Second. I can't actually believe the second time Clayton Vormakis left it behind. Now, is that because he is taking his eyes off the ball? And Franco Smith is livid this time, certainly. One can only assume, well, he's drying his hands on the turf. I can only assume he must have just taken his eyes off the ball for a moment. Okay, you want to repeat that? Highlights of the EP Kings against the Pumas straight after okay. Super Rugby on Monday night. 9.30 in the evening. Springbok squad announcement on that. Well, the Springbok squad is on everybody's lips. 5.30 on the next Friday. Italy against Scotland on Saturday at 8 o'clock. Well, you can lick your lips because you can now make your own judgment as to who you think might be a contester. And then the big schools clash. Paul Ruiz against Grey College. Coming very awkwardly and Fenter reacting well Trick was do well to get it back and the oh, Blomakis run onto it well Peterson on the outside Raymond rule line deep Fenta Zeilinger Peterson neat passing by the cheaters in this situation it was neat passing that led to the uh, knock on by Blomakis too Zeilinger well left there by Benjamin and Fielded there by uh, Yodan, and the m momentum is continued well by the cheaters here. Fenta 
Well, the hold up uh, Dutoy there. Fenter again, Zeilinger, Fenter, Francois this time. Oh, it's another desperate tackle inside the Griquas five meter area. Worst days in that. Well, just covering the ball now and leaves it for Sean Fenter. Big run by no the lock forwards, Ace uh, taking it to ground. Now where uh, the front rank has come into play, this is De Bruyne. Got it from Detroit, the hooker. A little bit of a space here. Zeilinger trying to lay it back. And now what does the referee say? General warning now. Everybody's offside. All right? Yes, you can. So general warning means that the next offender will get a yellow card. Okay. Side entry in the malls. Time's off. And this is not good news. No, I can't. Looks to me like uh, could be Steph Kotzer who is down there. What's been really impressive with the Cheetahs is the way that their front row gets involved in all kinds of play. They're in the ruck, they're in the defense, they're running of the ball. Not often you get that extra three guys that, that are playmakers really, and that is so good about the Cheetahs. Fantastic to see. So Harvey's three watching intently. Dell College against Queen's College. That's the uh, clash in the border area. Sharks against the Golden Lions tomorrow at uh, five past five. Blue Bulls, Western Province at Loftus. Two unbeaten teams in the Absa Curry Cup this year. EP Kings against the Humans Highlights on Monday evening. Will have uh, the attention to on. Steph Kortza. Fred Zeilinger will kick for goal. Flags go up, and the Cheetahs increase their lead to 10 3. So onto the field comes uh, Ewald van der Westhuizen. And uh, unfortunate end to the game for Kortza. Van der Westhuizen. I'll talk about uh, primary schools in a moment. It's well taken by Fenta, the flank forward. Now Fenta, the scrum half. Good hands. Oh, and just a game behind. You're down there. Second round. The replacement who came on, the Van der Beer season, who went to a, a primary school called Trida Kestel. Trida Kestel suddenly sprang out at, at, at me. You know, AJ, it's a little primary school in Bethlehem. Incredible. Yanni Duplessis, Bismarck Duplessis, Francois Stein, Bungi Umbanambi, uh, about four or five guys of Michael van der Spey all went to this little primary school in Bethlehem. We always talk about the high schools and the great colleges, they say Paul Ruiz's and that sort of thing. So, I don't think so. But the, the rugby work is Maris Pions. Maris Pions.
That is the definition of euphoria and ecstasy on a rugby pitch. The Rugby World Cup starts September 19 live on Sky Sport. Broadcast coverage proudly brought to you by ANZ. They'll go back, no advantage there, so the penalty right in front of the posts, about 27 metres out. They're waiting. They keep scrumming after okay. the hit. Can you please move back? But I'm just saying. Can, to you. can you please move back? Thank you. Well, Francois Ayes is not receiving any sympathy from the referee at, at that moment, so Dukisa will kick for good again. Yeah, I think he was trying to say that they they push after I'm not sure what, what, what exactly his point was there but he wasn't going to listen to that it's been a good contest in the scrum today and to Benny Dukisa kept his head down well and it brought rewards so Greg was staying in touch five penalties These are the two previous restarts. That was the first one. And this, the second. And both times, Peterson gets thumped. Now Blomakis. This is uh, Zeilinger. Rule Francois Penta flying on the outside. Zeilinger gets on the inside. Well, somebody in the Greek side enjoyed the way they defended. <laughs> they, they are defending so well. Both these teams tonight, it is physical because the Cheetahs are really running very hard at them. Still, the defense are solid. Cheetahs was 57% of the possession. I think what Francois Ace was complaining about was Greg was were pushing before the ball coming in. Fine. I think that may have been his complaint. Yeah, it could be. Mayer, Brahma, Van der Spey, Ferdun, Dukisa. Well handled by Peterson on defence. Team they solid performance. Fenta down for Ulefir, round for Fenta inside to Peterson. Nice movement of the ball by Cheetahs. Now it's Blomakis. Oof, running very hard. Downfield there was a Yodan, Neil Yodan, the number eight. Sean Fenta, Zeilinger, advantage. Yeah, high tackle advantage there on Fenta. Another high tackle advantage. Wonder whether Grick was also still on a warning from the referee. It was uh, particularly in terms of offside. Twelve. Cheetahs are absolutely relentless. You kind of get the feeling if, if they keep on going like they are, the gaps are going to open with the Greek was. The Greek was look a bit down and out, off their feet. 
Well, they are relentless, but these kicks into the corner have not provided the, or borne fruit. Yeah, that could have been a, a high tackle. And another one possibly. Let's hope they can settle this drive like they wanted to. Keep the patience because the previous one, the guys got a bit impatient. Try to peel off. Let's see. Well, they haven't won the line out, so that's the first one. From the best days and yes, did really well there. Quickly taken by Mayer. Out of the 22 for Ardendorf. His real first carry of the night. Roberts was up in support but knocked it on. A good play by the Greek was captain to take them out of their danger area, the 22. I moved. And what did you do with your body? Good contest by the Greek was Jakinepsen on a critical line out. It's always tough to contest when you're so close to your try line because when you contest, you can't stop the drive. And often when you do that, you're at risk, but well done on that occasion. Well, they're having a real contest, our ace and Nepchen. Crouch. Fine. Set. Another huge scrum by Greg was Fenta. They'll have to sort that out. Plomakis, nice little step and then go. Another little step and Shimi lays it back for Fenta. Kostad. Urs Tyson. Now, Jakun Nefgen. Lovely ball for Brahma. Away for Van der Spain. Now, Duke. Wow, he can move. Can uh, Duke up? The kick not bearing fruit. That side. That side. Michael Van der Speyer stayed down. A little bit of a ice pack on the hammy the hamstring there time's off yes no it's, i was happy with that but i'll keep i'll, I'll keep watching so it is uh yaku nepkin who is down your, your 10 minutes is not happening yeah but it's not working yeah, <laughs> got a silence in the crowd here Yakunevkin, who's uh, stolen one or two balls. That was uh, Dukisa with the big hits. There have been a lot of tackles, and Khriyaf always ready to take the opposition on. You can see that was a three man gang tackle on the Free State Cheetahs player. Next Friday at 5 30, Hanukkah Mayer will be announcing the Springbok squad for the Rugby World Cup, that is, 2015. No, line is yours. You can stand on the line. Yeah. JJ LaRue will throw. I say Nepkin has just close. been down injured injured they've called a four-man line out now will he call it to himself again yes he does maya brahma good ball for the scrum half mayor again roberts Drama, Van der Spey, we might be a little bit careful about accelerating so Roll soon out. after getting the hamstring Roll attention. Out. Now, to a minute to go, they can get the distance here quite easily, I would think. And Dukisa is making his way into the middle of the pack. 
and will kick for goal. There's the tackle on front of Spey. You can see Costa and uh, Yudan involved. Fenter very quickly to the point of bright breakdown. That was Henko Fenter making his way down to the team talk. Will be the Greek was coach, Harvey's free. Oh, great thump on the ball. Super kick by the left winger. Is it time? Good. So that will be just the score Grick was need on the half the stroke of half time as they move the game to a one point situation. Ten points to nine, the Free State Cheaters lead. Let's now go down to AJ Fenter with Raymond Rule. Well, I've got Raymond Rule here with me. Looks like you guys are having fun out there. No, we are. It's, it's one of our mojos this year. I think um, we said we want to bring the pleasure back to, into rugby, and I think we all played because we enjoy it, and uh, it's showing on the field. The, you guys are running hard at them, but the defence is quite solid. Yeah, no, um, that's what you expect at Curry Cup level. Every team is solid, and um, just have to look for a guy that makes a mistake. It's hard. Enjoy, Raymond. Thank you. Well, catch the second half straight after this. Both sides without a win in this year's Absa Curry Cup competition. Greek was against Cheetahs, and so AJ Fenter had a chance with Harvey's free. Harvey, some good running rugby tonight. Yeah, Free State's doing most of the running. We're on defence most of the time, but we uh, want to get, get a bit more ball in this half, keep it through phases. We need to make a step up at uh, breakdown time. Uh, true, you are defending, but you are defending really well. Yeah, it's not too bad. We were caught sometimes with a lack of width, but um, we've talked about that, and I'm sure we'll be better in the second half. Enjoy the second half. Thanks, AJ. Well, in 40 minutes, we'll know, or will we? Maybe it will be a draw. Who will be the... Uh, side that has not won in three out teams in the absolute curry cup this year so all to play for here then this local derby Danny mini coming on for steph roberts Danny mini who was named in the original teamless and then we got a, a teamless that had five or six changes in it Fillion. A beautiful hang up, Blomer Keys. You're done. Fenter, Blomer Keys. Brummer. So well played. Uh, one of the players shouting, Well done, Neil. That's Neil Yodan who took the hit and then laid it back well. Sort out your numbers. Roberts, no problem. Oh, dreadful service to Maya. No problem with the throw was a Jonathan Arden, I beg your pardon, Jonathan Ardendorf, but his service to his skipper From was you. not the greatest. Yeah, very good jump, very good throw. Unfortunately, the delivery down to the scrum off just wasn't great. That could have been a great attacking opportunity for the Greek West. Well, the one thing that Greek was have done really well tonight, amongst others, is their scrummaging has been very powerful. 
Now, they have two Five. new front rankers in there. Set! Mini and van der Verstaisen replacing Robertson Kortza. Yeah, so can they do the we're job? working again before the ball goes in. Let's all be stable. Did you hear that? Yeah. Let's all be stable. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's why I said both sides. Paying attention to Francois Ace's complaint earlier on now. Yeah, very hard to actually judge from that angle, but it looks like there could be some in scrumming. I'm sure he's going to focus on Wistazen right now. Bind. Set. Referee okay, deciding that was a slip. Let's go, let's go. Okay, you're going to bring it closer now. One of the things we've seen the referees talking about is that overextension. It almost looked, Jan Lipsen, right, it almost looked like that particular instance could have been caused by that overextension. He wasn't really holding his own weight as you may see, but it's, it's, it's tough in the front row there. Crouch. Find. <laughs> Quickly taken, here's Ulufir. Big tackle by Vessels. Fenta, Zeidinger, Benjamin. Sean Fenta. Costa. Quick ball. Worked around uh, now, Zeilinger, Blomakis, Fenta, Rule has the Yudan on his outside, who's there quickly to support, Sean Fenta, no support there, quickly and went uh, to Toy. Great attack again from the Cheetahs, non-stop, wave after wave. And uh, almost looks like the Greek was uh, running out of ideas on the fence. Franklin Smith will not be happy with the handling errors, and we've seen, well, certainly one certain try missed by a handling error by the Free State Cheaters. It is true, there's 9 to 3 there, but if you think of it, the Cheetahs really have been running about 90% of the, of the ball tonight as well. So, yes, it's mistakes. And, it, uh, there was a few trial opportunities. Well, Crouch. the tackles made by Rick was his 60 right now. They've missed five. And five. only 29 by Set. the Cheetahs, who have also missed five of those 29. But uh, look at this Rick with scrum once again. Powerful it is, winning them another penalty. Wistays and he's, uh, he's having a tough time and uh, the, chi the the Greek was a really you can see that scrum it's combined it's tight the timing is impeccable and they go straight through the middle once that call comes straight through the middle very good scrum power straight through the middle is the best tower Well, we were taught, uh, talked about the front rankers, and it might be Max van Dijk who comes in. This is Ulefir, Fenta, Zeilinga, who was just eluding. Now, this is a wonderful work by Benjamin. Fenta and the scrum halves have to really move around the park. Grand scrum run by Caleb Ustazen. Fenta. Now to, uh, for De Bruyne, comes to the scrum half again, that pace was Blomakis. Now watch where Sergio Peterson is, oh, and Zeligan, but you've got to have the runners running off the ball for him to do that. Peterson was on the inside, the men were on the outside, and they were all watching everybody but the fly half.
I have to say, he has been outstanding tonight, Fred Zielinger. But you nailed it on the head there. There's always guys inside and outside of him which pulls the defenders straight like that. He can run straight. He can pull the guy in front of him. But if there's someone inside, outside, the defenders has to stop. And that created that gap. But Fred Zielinger, outstanding tonight so far. And again, uh, it's, uh, the guys that are being they, those extra runners are the tight uh, forwards. They are the loose forwards. They are the locks. That's fantastic to see from this cheetah side. They use their tight five players inside and outside of the fly of inside center. Well, we have uh, cheetahs uh, youth supporters here. And Peterson congratulating his fly half. But we had Sean, uh, Francois Fento, Peterson, on either side, running very close to Zeilinger, so the Griquas players had to watch them. For the timing amongst the Cheetahs players there, but it, then nobody touched it, so they have a line-out throw-in to the visitors. Green, open up. Well taken by Henku Fenta. That's the best ball of the match so far by the Cheetahs. Penalty advantage, they're on. They might as well keep going, will they? Now, what is the referee going to say? We back again on a general warning. Back again on a warning. They've come around to the side entry of the mall quite a bit. Had the Greek was in, attempted to defend the mall, but that certainly was the best mall that the uh, men in the orange and black have had tonight. A very good drive set up. And out of their own 22, they were milking that penalty. And exactly what they got. Ace. Clean catch. Now they can get that ball going again. Now it looks like it's been collapsed. Fenta. Zeilinga. No oh, one rules slap through now. What can he do here? Gets it away, Francois Fenta. Brilliant uh, tackle by Dukisa. Here they go again. Blomakis. Peterson. Try number three. The referee will want a TMO decision on this. One. Can you just check there if there's a possibility of a obstruction? Otherwise, I'm awarding a try. Specific play you can see in the play? Um, it was just here. I forgot what number it was. Okay, Thanks. Yeah, when the wing, the left wing free state broke through. Well, I think that could be an obstruction decision. Yeah, I concur. It's, 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 <laughs> you could, if you're a Greekos guy, you will say yes if you cheat on her, but it was pretty hard for Bremer to defend with the other player in the middle right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning your way. Neil Jordan, who, well, you know, that is not uh, uh, intentional yes, obstruction. The, there was no contact between the dummy runner <laughs> and yes. the green player, so it's no obstruction and no water try. So no obstruction, I'm ordering the try. Correct. Thanks. Quite clear from the TMO and the referee concurring. 
Peterson ending off that beautiful movement by the Cheetahs and they are on fire. That orange machine is on fire. Super kick by Fezalinga. Again, all the way from the open side, and that movement there that the team I had to look at was all good. And quick hands, quick ruck, quick clean from the ball, and there was no way for the defense to line up. Fenta, Blomakis. There was a touch there so the Cheetahs can play. Course up there quickly. Hands in cocktail, he says. Mr. Lequeta. Yep. So a few mistakes coming in on the Griquois side here, but a lot of pressure coming from the Free State. Possession now in the second half, 81% of it for the free state cheaters that's what happens when a, when a team puts a lot of pressure on, on on the opposition in the ruck in the mall in attack there's nothing else that you can do you're going to start making mistakes and that's exactly what's happening tonight again it's Francais who does the catching of Lana time now Ulefir has the ball at the back is that obstruction but the yeah there's going to be a yellow card for somebody here going to make it very very tough for the Greek was now one of the forwards off line up five line meters away line and the, the cheetahs have got their tail in the air you got from the best season coming off so they'll have to bring on another front ranker see the Martin was Satan how to the hooker replacement is warming up you're done oh they've got numbers here I had the cheetahs numbers are plenty this is looking for the bonus point try and it's there. Karadulafir getting all the high fives. Former free set under 21 captain. Very good setup, very good drive. Got a little bit brittle at the end, but they stayed tight enough. For Gerard Olifi to die to dive over. What did you miss? Zeidinger squeezes it between the uprights and over the crossbar. Yeah. Okay, they went over the 15, which is you know, it's debatable. They could have, the Greekers could have gone in the side there because the line out was over. But still, the Cheetahs managed to squeeze that one over the line. 13 minutes into the second half, the Cheetahs have scored 21 points in a matter of those. Well, it's now 14 minutes. It's a very good start. And the belabored Greek was now, can they fight back into this game? Blomakis was out. Well, he might have said to the, no, the, the, the referee's assistant saying he caught it, then stepped out. Lomak is arguing that his foot was on the line before he caught it. Open up. In which case, it would have been out on the full. Martin Bezaiten note onto the park for LaRue. Remember, they've got a front ranker in the pin. So it's really a problem in Swart calling on for Ruan. No, had the ball. It's a 
Trinton Swart. So uh, RJ Liebenberg is also on the on the park. One again. Another one of those Schmieder Kestel he comes on the scholars the support primary us. school level. RJ right. Liebenberg, one. who's in the number 24 jersey. Number one side. Taking out the supporter. It wasn't uh, West Days in, it was someone else. That is why he was a bit upset. Open up. Stay there. Well, Martin Bezaten has quickly got to get his uh, throwing in straight and true. Jako Nepkin will be supported by Kloppers. He's come onto the park now. It's uh, Ardendorf who is doing strong work in that mall. Away for, uh, well, it's Bezat note. Covered by Swart. Mayer. Oh, and uh, they had to die for that one. So the momentum was stemmed for a moment. Now it's with the mini. 17. Cheaters offside, the Come guilty here. party is Go. Max van Dijk. For your choice of words, you can go. So an indiscretion by the replacement prop hasn't been on for too long and the referee obviously objecting for your choice of words. Well, you can't insult a referee. That's common knowledge. So we have Jucho Kloppers on the field as well, former Lions player. <laughs> Nepchen, good take. Was eight note, hurt leaning around to support. Going sideways, good play by cheaters and Ulufia snaps it up very quickly Fenta lovely break by Sean Fenta finds a man oh great control by Costa now way for Henku Fenta Ulufia is there again Sean Fenta unfortunately stayed down they need a half back it's a Benjamin who's a very useful half back Rainer Benjamin this isn't Kobo well, the, oh, Raymond Rule just grabbed a boot lace. Pace of the game just uh, upping a little. Maya, Brahma, Swart. He decides to, well, that's just uh, a bang downfield to gain some ground. Sean Fenter up and moving. Oh, oh, yeah, I can't watch those. <laughs> I never know what to commentate when they do those because I don't want to watch it. Dutoy with the throw. Another shortened line out. We've had quite a few tonight. Francois Ace. Tap down. Fenter is okay. Now it's Zeilinger. Being a real creator of uh, movement tonight, Fred Zeilinger. But that has been their stumbling block. If there has been one, as their handling errors will not be a happy stat for the cheaters. And on comes Renil Hugo. 
popular player in South Africa, Renil Hugo, Stellenbosch yeah, University no, Varsity no. Cup winner, Turkey's like, captain of the, not like the, guy of the exactly. Stellenbosch side. And off comes, I must say, he's worked pretty hard, Armand Koster, in just his uh, eighth game in the Epsa Curry Cup. Product of Pioneer is uh, Armand Koster, Pioneer, who did very well in they the school the sevens. Well. Pioneer from Freyheit in Natal. And on comes Steph Roberts, because they're two. No, who's two loose heads? Guys, and so it is uh, Jonathan Ardendorf, who's dispatched come, eh? yeah okay. like you said before it's, it's nice when he wears a scrum cap because you never you can never see between him and Lobbit you don't know who's who Clayton Blomakis Crouch Jill Peterson has gone to full back for the Chiefs. You must match numbers, guys. Blomakis, uh, the yellow card offender. Crouch. Bind. Set. So, France from Bremen the game in a little bit of a lull at the moment. Caleb Wurst in back onto the path. Of course, they've just ripped old Clayton Blombeck. He's off the park. So, a chance here for Griquas to try and get their first try of the match. Up goes Nepchen. Oh, and that's... Referee indicating not in straight. Both teams had so many choice. opportunities Lano close to the try line in the five Captain meter Lano with the driving line outs, but Lano always there's been like a skew through, throw, or okay. something always happened. There's not been one proper drive tonight. So, what they've done, in fact, uh, let's open up just to clarify, is that Max. I'll sort out the numbers, let's open up. Um, Max van Dijk got the yellow card, so instead of reducing their scrum to seven men they took off Clayton Blomack he's brought on there as they had to a front rank and this is going to be very close to a try and the, the double knock there first knock and so will come on will come Evolt van der Verstehsen and along with it Jonathan Ardendorf so they brought on Caleb Wurstazen to make up the front row and then, interestingly enough, took Clayton Blomack, he's off the park. So Steph Roberts can now, well, hopefully leave the field for the night, hopefully in terms of yellow cards and injury. Well, we've got less than 20 minutes to go, so to get into this game, if they've got a chance of getting back into the game, Greg has have got to score Five. now. Set. A steady hold is good. Now they can get the shove on. Numbers, you are shifting. 
You are shifting. You shifted your bike. So it is uh, Donny Mini who is uh, penalised. Yeah, the flanker. Well, what did he say? The flanker. Yeah. So is basically, what he's saying is the flanker was slipping up past his prop into the side of the opposing prop, which is Wistazen. Which is an old trick I used to do it a few times. Open up. Open up. If you get away with it, that is. I mean, it's, um, it's quite a good maneuver if you can slide up and make contact with the ribs. Of the other prop, like we are, RJ Liebenberg, the guilty party. Good play by Holly Henko Fenta. Now, Rulafi Peterson, more beautiful step. Now, oh, try to get it on the inside to Francois Fenta, but it's not over there. Dukisa covering well, but Peterson with a sliding break there. It's probably the fourth or fifth time tonight where the Cheetahs exploit that inside pass, either in the fly-off channel or the inside center channel of the Greek was. That means that the defense from the inside out isn't good enough. There's always gaps on the inside of the Greek was defense. Well, the guy who set it up with a deft pass was Fred Zeilinger. Those uh, quick passes in streaming movements are always so important. Knock on but well, an oh, elaborate line out move there. Gerard Ulefir just having a little word with his hooker. I think they almost tried a Richie McCaw move like they did in the test match, and then Yakunetkin has a problem. But I was, this was legit. Looks like he might just have a problem there with uh, a serious grass burn. That was a very good move. Well, he just went a little bit too quickly, did Gerard Ulefir. Yeah. So it was a difficult throw in for Dutoy. Good player, Gerard Ulefir. He's had a good game tonight. Uh, it's always a few things. Just, you know, if he can just be a little bit more patient once or twice in the drive he's the guy that gets the ball and he's got to be patient EP Kings against the Pumas Monday night highlights and the squad announcement on Friday at 5.30 that's today week Quite a few of the scrums tonight we've seen that happen going down either a free kick penalty or reset. Some subs warming up for the cheaters, one of them Sios Yerbason. Van Dijk will come out of the sin bin back onto the field. Not an expert in the scrumming of I've scrum behind those guys, but if you look at Caleb Wistaisen, he has to have his bind not be, not on the armpit, but on the side, and he's got to have his arm, arm elbow up, and that's the key. And all they all, they collapse because of those two things not happening. Bind. He's too close there to the shoulder. He's got to be down the side, his elbow up. Well, his elbow has dropped right off the no. onto the jersey now, so he's got very little grip. In fact, Brummer, Swart, Van Dijk is skipped to Fillion, to Kies on the outside. Seen very little ball for Ngogo. One of the Griquas players is down, Brummer. Trying to bash it up with the forwards again. Meyer, Van Dijk, to Kies. He's a big lad, to Kies. Great defense there. From Francois Fenta. No, 
Mayer. Little variation, but the bounce is. Oh, uh, Mayer was coming through at pace. The bounce, I reckon, was reasonably favourable for Raymond Rule. Ilandre Huggett coming on to the park. Sure. Van Dijk returning. You've been subbed. Now uh, Iberson coming on. Let's see yes, who's going double, to sorry. go off. See Michael van der Spey is coming off for Griquas. So looks like Van Rooyen is coming on. Okay, what happened was hug it on for Detroit. Rudy van Rooyen has moved on to the left wing for Rudy van Rooyen. On to the left wing. Yep. And uh, we've got Dukisa at full back, Leon Fulun in centre. Playing his 105th. Yeah. Absa Curry Cup game right tonight, Rion Fillion. Right mind, stable. Fred Zeiling has gone into the fullback position, so Clayton Blomacki is staying off. Lucius Yerbason takes over at fly half. Fenta, Yerbason. Fenta, Zeilingard, who breaks the tackle, but not that of Swart, who came thundering in. Clinton Swart, who came uh, across with a very good uh, cover tackle. Open up, Orange. Thank you. Maya. Really nowhere to go for Lieben back there. Now it's been turned over. Chance for Van Dijk. Benjamin. Nice little bit of play there. By the forwards, a dreadful bounce for Raymond Rule and Corbo comes over quickly. Good counter shot by Neil Yodan. Now, Fenter. Get back. Get back. Nicely played there by uh, Dubrain. Fenter. Zeilinger couldn't hold on. Well played by Meyer. Now it's a well played the, by Hlia and then Ardendorf. Meyer. Van Rooyen, who uh, for you looked like he might have been an inch ahead of the ball. Now the chance for Raymond Rule to counter. Beautiful pass for Sean Fenter. Looks on the inside. Oh, well played by Francois A. Zeilinger. Now by Neil Jordan. Los! Get back. Rule. Iverson. Fenter. Francois Ace has stayed down, some vigorous play here. Yerbasan will surely want to clear. No, finds Benjamin. Francois Ace has stayed down with a sore wrist after he gave a super pass Get back. to Zeilinger. Get back. Van Dijk. Fenta. To uh, Francois Fenter now, it's Zeilinger again. Lays it back for Sean Fenter, Francois Fenter, Max van Dijk, away for Henko Fenter. It's almost like uh, commentating Wales where there's so many Joneses in the team. <laughs> now Gerard Tulefier. Benjamin. Now a little run forward by De Bruyne. Fenter, Fenter. You're done. 
Well, I should think the players would want a little bit of a respite. Just as the uh, tempo kept going and going and going. The men down on their knees now. And Francois Ace is uh, one of them. Unbelievable rugby tonight here. And you're right, this has probably been a 15-phase set that we've just seen, and it's non-stop, and most of it from the Cheetahs. Zolinger again in, in vision. He had a fantastic game tonight. Put his players in, in gaps. Kicked properly. Very good, very good night. So Ngozi is on for race. Also, uh, we have on is Tini Berga. Francois Ace has done his bit with uh, seven minutes to go. I'll do my best to see whatever that I can. Okay, jump back on. Tini Berga on. We'll move into the flank position. And Goza, Fred and Goza, we think will take up the lock situation. Up goes and Goza, down for Ulufir. Breaks away to rule. Benjamin. They're really moving the ball around the park now, the Cheetahs, and maybe tackle without the ball there. Worked up by Kloppers, this is not goal ball. They're coming across in cover tackle as Rona Benjamin who runs it out. Good concentration and cover there by Benjamin. The crowd just got excited as Ngobo found a bit of space. There have been a hint of a tackle off the Open ball. Up. You might argue that it could be dangerous the way he just let him drop down with his head down to the ground. Cloppers, good win at the back of the line out. That's once. Netken coming barging away with the ball, moving it up towards the Cheetah five meter line. Mayer needs quicker ball than that. Time running out if it hasn't, well, it has, one might say, run out that Grick was, don't have the time to close that gap. 64% of the possession to the visitors in that second half. Tomorrow's AFSA Curry Cup games. Sharks against the Golden Lions tomorrow, 5 1705 at Kings Park, and then 1910, the Blue Bulls against Western Province. That game at Loftus First Felt. Highlights of uh, the other game tonight, EP Kings against the Pumas, Monday at 9.30 after the Super Rugby program. Leave his head, going to own gap. Crouch. Huggett van Dijk and De Bruyne in that front row. Fine. De Bruyne being on for all 80 Set. minutes. Come on, you on. Well, Cheetahs won't be Please unhappy with this because long. the clock just ticks right. down. And the fellas on the outside the can stand in. and watch the fellas on the inside Please. having a wrestling match. I'm telling you what you need to do. Can see uh, just having a look. See, yeah, it isn't Gozo who's in the uh, lock position. Chini Berger, 
Karat Rulev here and Henko Fenta are Kraut. the loose fours. Henko yeah, Fenta has moved from shoulder. flank to number eight in place of Neil Five. Yudan. Set. No, not taken from the right spot by team by the Tian Mayer. He was way off the mark, so the referee quite right. So they have to create something. Liebenbach. Quick support from Nefgen. Well, you see the cheaters have just got this uh, line of defense going very well. There are not enough attackers here. They'll go away with well, the referee. 19. Saying that... 19. Uh, it was Tini Berger who was offside. Scrum. Well, interesting. They they have been pretty solid in the scrum tonight, and I understand why they would want the scrum there. And if they don't, if they don't win the scrum or get the try from the scrum, they've got both sides of the field to attack. You keep it up. So great opportunity for them. You will keep it up. Crouch. Well, apart from the fact that their scrum has been solid and a good game forward, it also pulls in eight men into the scrum with the cheaters, so less would be defenders. Oh, the cheaters have managed to mess this ball up for Griquas. And a lot of high fiving and cheering, and a lot of it really is uh, it's sort of mental stuff, you know, showing that they've got the upper hand over the opposition. Well, definitely a bit of a change in the cheaters with the whole front row being the reserve bench, so they're a little bit fresher than the cheaters at this moment, and they showed that in that scrum. So the cheaters will be apart from them happy with the win, they'll be happy with the the um, bonus Set. point that they have for the four tries. Best of them being the one uh, for Rainer Benjamin. Another very good one for Peterson as well. Both wingers, Raymond Rule and Peterson, having good games tonight. Very involved in the game. Relief and Fred Zeidinger finds a big touch. Penalties conceded to 13 and 12. That's just in, in the scrums. Eight reset scrums. Not a great figure. Good take by Barnard. Down for Ulefir. His pass isn't great, but he's gone there quickly to recover. Bit of a high tackle from Swart. Comes to Fenta. Oh, and they're still running it. Raymond Rule. Tini Burgess quick to the point of breakdown. And Gozo is there. Gets no skipped. Fenta, Ibison, Zeilinger, Henko Fenta, Zeilinger again, they're coming at pace, this is Ngozo, knock on, that will be the ball game, or should be the ball game, and ultimately a comfortable win for Cheetahs. You know, you come here to Kimberley, it's always going to be a tough game, it's a hard ground, Greg was committed physically are normally very good indeed so we've had tries from benjamin zeilinger peterson and by ulafia that was a bit of a mall scrum by ulafia but some really good tries we're going to go back to the studio and we'll be back with you for interviews